Hello and welcome to this video lesson. My name is Mike Dowling. The tune I just played is a song of mine called Swamp Dog Blues. And we're going to come back to that tune in a few minutes, but I thought I'd take a moment to tell you where it is I think we're going today. Uh, I've titled this uh, video Bottleneck Blues and Beyond. So what I intend to do is show you some things that I hope will enhance your straight ahead blues playing, but also show you how you can use the bottleneck on some non-blues material as well. I think that no matter what style you play in, a Piedmont style or Delta Blues or anything in between and beyond, all bottleneck players have to reconcile one thing eventually, and that is balancing the tremendous possibilities that the bottleneck affords for playing with expression against the inherent uh, drawbacks and pitfalls of playing with a chunk of glass or metal on your finger. And that's something I'd like to uh, keep in mind as we go through things today, helping you walk that fine line. So, before we get any further, let's tune out. We'll primarily be in detuning today. We'll venture into G a little bit later on. Here's my high D string. I want to go up and grab that fourth fret and immediately put a good note out there for the listener. Never want to be in the position where you're almost apologizing uh, for the note to be played with the bottleneck, you know, in a sense asking the listener to cut you some slack because you're playing with a chunk of glass or metal on your finger. So we want to overcome that right away. First thing to do before we even add vibrato or expression of any kind to that note, uh, want to make sure we've got it as in tune as we can. So I would just practice maybe playing open, second fret, fourth fret. I guess I can't help but apply the vibrato there, but if I play it with Now, I'll repeat that phrase down below. Instead of starting on my high D string, I'll start on my fourth string, D as well. All right. That's where my slide will take place, but actually I begin the phrase on my fifth string. Here we go. Not much of a note out of there with the light slide, so forgive me for that but maybe you can see a little more clearly. And your little fills are tabbed out as well. Boogie woogie dance. Start with a, the first part of that tune. So we're going to begin with a with a, uh, a hammer on. Start on the fifth string, and then come down open. That's the first thing we'll do with our thumb. Pick up on the top string and bring the thumb up to the fourth string. And then catch your second part of the third part. I'll go up here. I always like to have something ringing underneath, so let me pick it up from the end of the last phrase. I just do a pinch to have something ringing underneath. Why not? Seventh fret. what we've got. So 7th fret, 
third, second open, or fourth, second open. This idea that I touched on, walking and anticipating, walking into your four chord and likewise anticipating your five chord is something we can do and get some, uh, get a good effect from it. Let me play you a little something and I'll, uh, just another 12 bar, a non-related uh, tune, just to use that for an example. There's my four chord. slow it down. I'll walk into my four chord again. Again. Uh, techniques and principles I've been talking about so far. And you'll hear me use some of the things I've just previewed. So we'll give that a try. stranger here I just blowed into your town Yes, I'm a stranger here I just blowed into your town And because I'm a stranger everybody tries to dog me around As I'm doing my vibrato, well, we can talk about it on the seventh fret there. I've sort of got my thumb, as you may see it, on top of the guitar, and I'm letting the natural weight of my hand fall and act as a pendulum. If I'm not grounded and trying to get a good uh, sp smooth vibrato without any anchoring point, for me at least, it's difficult. But if I think of my hand, keep my hand kind of compact and centered, uh, not exactly below my thumb. The notes on the seventh fret, my thumb's uh, about on the sixth fret, for example. But I'm just letting. 